Assalamualaikum. Hello students. In this video, I will explain to you on how to write lab report for experiment 1, determination of the formula unit of a compound. So generally, this is the lab report format. Okay, you must have ob objective, theory, procedure, results or observation, including calculation, discussion, including uh, exercise questions, and conclusion. But first, don't forget to write down your name, your metric number, your practical class, and the date for the experiment. Okay. So first, write down the title for this experiment, which is determination of the formula unit of a compound. And then you write down the objective. Okay. So uh, you can find the objective straight from the lab manual. Okay, there are two objectives. So start your objective. Uh, sentence with to to what to what so for this experiment to synthesize zinc chloride compound and to determine the formula you need of zinc chloride okay next is introduction introduction is you just summarize from the lab manual theory okay so i give you uh, two example okay so number one uh, explain what is formula unit okay and number two uh, a little bit about uh, how zinc chloride reaction uh, this time okay and uh, take uh, two more uh, theory yeah? okay so next is, is procedure Procedure, you just write the uh, procedure in passive sentence. Okay, for example, number one, weigh the crucible and record the exact mass. So, convert it into passive sentence. You write the crucible is weighed and the exact mass is recorded. Okay, and so on. Okay, for results, record your result in a table form okay like this okay you always record your result in table format okay so use the data given to you and record it here all right and then you can find uh, your zinc chloride and chlorine mass from calculation okay Next, don't forget to show the calculation to find the formula unit. Okay, so show the calculation in table form also, just like in uh, tutorial class, how to calculate the empirical formula for a compound. Okay, so this is the guidance for you. Okay, next item is discussion. In discussion, uh, always compare your result obtained from the experiment with the theoretical value. So for this experiment, the theoretical empirical formula for zinc chloride is Zn and Cl2. So just compare your result with the theory, whether you get the same or different um, formula okay next is give reasons for errors okay um, for example i give you one loss of mass of zinc chloride due to overheating okay there is a possibility when you uh, run the experiment you overheat the compound all right so um give another two uh, reasons for errors okay so next is 
you suggest the ways to overcome the errors. For example, uh, error number one, you just uh, suggest number one, control the heating process to avoid spattering and melting. Okay, so that is your suggestion. So give another two suggestion. Okay. Okay, then you can see you have exercise from the lab manual and there is uh, three questions. So answer your uh, exercise first, number one, number two, number three. And then, as usual, last but not least is conclusion. Okay, conclusion you take from um, objective. Okay, refer back your objective. You have two objective, so you write two conclusion. Okay, so for objective number one, what is your conclusion? For objective number two, what is your conclusion? Okay, so jawab balik apa yang diterangkan daripada objective. Okay, I hope um, this video will help you a little bit on how to write the lab report. Okay, so good luck. Okay, bye.